Philippine Navy PN is taking significant strides towards acquiring its first-ever submarines, a move that would bolster the country's maritime defense capabilities. This initiative comes after the establishment of the submarine group within the PN, casting a wide net. To ensure they make the most informed decision, the PN has issued a request for information, RFI, to several international submarine builders. Saab Group, Cockums, Sweden. A potential derivative of the A-26 submarine design could be offered. ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems, TKMS, Germany. Options include the Type 209 1400s, Type 210 Mod, and Type 212A submarines. Naval Group, France. The PN might consider a derivative of the Scorpion-class submarine. Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, DSME, South Korea. The Chongbogo-class submarine is a potential contender. Rosober 1 Export, Russia. The Project 636 Kilo-class submarine is also under consideration. Matching capabilities to budget. The PN's RFI aims to gather comprehensive information about the capabilities and costs associated with each submarine option. This data will be crucial in determining which platform best aligns with the Philippines' allocated budget for this project. Exploring the options. Each of the proposed submarines offers unique advantages. A26, Saab Cockums. This potentially derivative design could provide a balance of features at a competitive price. TKMS submarines. The Type 200 9 1400s, Type 210 mod, and Type 212A represent a range of options catering to different needs and budgets. Scorpion class derivative, Naval Group. This option offers a platform familiar to some Southeast Asian nations, potentially facilitating knowledge sharing and logistical support. Chongbogo class, DSME. South Korea's offering could present a technologically advanced option, potentially aligning with the Philippines' desire for a modern submarine fleet. Project 636 Kilo Class Rosober 1 export. This Russian-built submarine might be a cost-effective option, but geopolitical considerations might also be a factor in the decision-making process. Looking ahead, the PN's exploration of various submarine options signifies a commitment to a well-informed and strategic acquisition process. This careful evaluation will ensure that the Philippines acquires submarines that effectively address the country's maritime defense needs while remaining within budgetary constraints. Additional points to consider. The timeline for the PN's decision-making process and potential next steps. The potential impact of acquiring submarines on the Philippines' overall maritime security posture. The long-term implications for crew training, maintenance infrastructure, and operational integration with the existing Philippine Navy fleet. By staying informed about this crucial development, Filipinos can gain a deeper understanding of the efforts undertaken to strengthen the Philippines' maritime defense capabilities.